What's up guys, Austin here from Airsoft Station and today we're reviewing the Well MB4410. This gun is absolutely massive, it is a beast of a gun. For those of you who have seen me in person, you know that I'm a relatively tall guy. I come in at about 6'4", and this gun absolutely dwarfs me. I had to actually back up from where I normally film, um, simply to fit this gun into frame. Um, starting with the externals on this gun, I think that's the most attention-grabbing thing. I want to start off by saying that the scope and the bipod does not come with the package. Um, I just honestly thought this gun needed to get dressed up before I showed it off to you because I just thought it deserved it. Anyway, um, so no false advertising here. The gun doesn't come with these two items. I just really like the way it looked and I wanted to play dress up with the gun. Anyway. Um, starting at the rear, actually, that's the thing I want to start with the first. The stock on this gun has three really cool features about it. Thing number one is it's got a skeletonized look to it. Not only does this actually keep the weight down, but it also just gives it a really cool look in my mind. The second thing is it has an adjustable cheek rest. Now what that means is um, you're simply screwing these little dials here, you're able to raise or lower the cheek rest. So if someone was using a paintball style mask, you could keep it down, uh, that would allow um, easier access to your sights, you know, you wouldn't have to push that mask down because it does just drop down quite a ways. However, if you're not using a mask, you can raise it up and then just screw it in place here and it'll hold it there. So when we tighten these screws up, it's not going to let it, allow it to drop down and we can um, rest our cheek there, just help us look down our scope easier quicker target target acquisition, um, just a lot of cool features with that. And the last thing that's really cool about this stock is it is actually a foldable stock. Now you may be thinking, why on earth would I have a sniper that's this long with a folding stock? Well in reality, you're probably never going to be playing like this, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You're going to buy this gun for accuracy and you lose a whole lot of accuracy when you chop the stock off. But a gun that's this long, it's going to be very difficult to find a carrying case for. Uh, when you take the, when you fold the stock down though, it actually takes 11 inches off of the gun. So you might actually be able to fit it into a carrying case, whether it be soft or hard shell. Um, and just for overall storage purposes, you know, things like that, it's nice to have that folding stock. Another really cool feature about this gun is the magazine, or the magazine placement, I should say. On airsoft sniper rifles that I have owned in the past, I've had to load the magazine really far up on the gun. Now there is reasoning and logic for that. On an airsoft sniper rifle you have an extremely long barrel, and therefore you need a really large um, cylinder to match the air volume in the barrel so that you can successfully and accurately push that BB out of the barrel. Now when, you're, when you have a cylinder so large, um, your air nozzle isn't all the way up until right about here on the gun. So you need to load the magazine way up here so that the BB is in front of the air nozzle to successfully get loaded into the barrel. That makes sense in my head. However, on this gun, it's actually loaded where it would be on a real steel firearm. Now this magazine is a 36 round extended magazine. You can see that it sticks out of the gun and it just gives it um, a lot more of a realistic look and an added sense of authenticity in my mind. Now the way this works is when you cock the gun, there's kind of a little track system in here which pushes the gun, or excuse me, pushes the BB on a track system all the way up to right about there until so it's loaded into the barrel. So it still functions the exact same way as any other airsoft sniper rifle, however it looks way better doing it. Now while I have this gun cocked, I'm going to let you listen to the sound of this gun. It's got a very nice crisp sound on it. Instead of like a slamming sound, it's just, it sounds really nice. Just instant air pressure. It's a really nice sound, guys. Next thing I want to note is the rail system up front here. Um, you've got an extremely long top rail up here, two side rails for any accessories you might want, and a bottom rail probably only for a bipod. Um, you could stick a grip on there, however, having a grip that is that long is kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but to each his own. If you're feeling it, by all means, throw a grip on there. Um, the, the rail system up here is aluminum, so it helps keep the weight down. You know, having a lot of weight that far out would make this gun extremely unbalanced. But in reality, that aluminum help keeps it very lightweight. However, it's a lot more durable than plastic. Uh, it's going to be more durable in, uh, in the long run. Another thing I really like about this gun is the wide cylindrical barrel. 
Um, I'm not sure why I like it so much. I just feel like if it was a thinner barrel coming out of this large cylindrical rail system, it just wouldn't mesh properly. I think it looks really nice um, and that again is metal also so you're not going to worry about that bending or breaking easily. So as you guys can see from the Chrono Range, this gun does shoot within field limits which in my opinion is a good thing. A lot of people have the misconception that a sniper rifle needs to be a uh, really high FPS to have range and accuracy when really that that is just a misconception. Um, the long barrel the large cylinder behind that, uh, you know, that a lot of air behind that BB and a good hop-up system is all that's going to contribute to your range and your accuracy. FPS is only going to decide whether it's going to get there in a second or 1.1 seconds. That's really the only difference that FPS is going to uh, play into. Um, so, in my opinion, I think the FPS being within field limits is good because then you, you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to downgrade the spring or anything like that. You can take it to your field right out of the box. Um, another thing about this gun to note is you guys aren't holding this gun. This gun is massive, but it's actually really lightweight. Um, you can see that, you know, in the front handguard here, they've, uh, they've made it hollow. The stock is skeletonized. Even the pistol grip here is completely hollowed out just to help keep everything really lightweight. All the parts that need to be metal are metal, but all the parts that can be plastic are plastic. And uh, I think they did a great job with this gun because, you know, as I said, this is a massive gun and it's actually not too hard to wield. It's pretty easily maneuvered. Um, I think they did a great job with this gun. So, come down to our store and check it out, or check it out on our website, airsoftstation.com. Until the next video, guys, have a good one.